Go, go, go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Go get more air. Rip it. Ah! Oh, you've got to fight through that, man. Come on, come on, come on. My name is Susan, known as Scooter Susan, but you'd call me Scooty Sue. Um, I'm from Toronto originally, and uh, now in the 514. Um, right next to me is my BFF, Marcus. We've just grown really close, and he just gets me on a, on a real level. And, uh, and we just clicked right away. I went over, we talked, and it was like, it's like we knew each other in another life. I started scootering, I want to say seven or eight years old. And it was like, right when I got on it, it just fit like a glove. The word prodigy was kind of thrown around. You know, scooting just makes me feel so happy and other people feel happy. Like when I ride by them, I feel like they, they get my happiness and, and I just want to spread that happiness around the world. And scooting does that. There's basically like three styles. Like you've got like street skippers, you've got tranny hoppers, and yes. you've got the tech group. All right, so we're here at the park, and this is where all the magic happens. As you can see, there's tons of space for us to, to rip it. One, one go, one two, touch. Three, Shit. four, five. How, how much, do you think that's like a meter you got there? <laughs> no. I, I started coming up with one called the skydive. Um, basically, you get on the highest platform you can and skate and jump off and land it. Scoop. 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 We go through the mud, we get the snow, you know, we get on the benches and you can see that the benches are kind of like submerged so it's good for tricks. I swear I had to scrape up my leg. Like every time I was walking down the street, people were like, whoa, like what happened to that girl? And you know, it's just scootering. It, it comes with the territory. I want to see people scooter. I want to see people have passion. I want fire. I really want people to just Rip, rip it, it, you know? Yeah. Scootering should be considered a sport and an art and, and it, right now it's just, it's considered something like a five-year-old does before they move on to something else. So we're here now at Mont Royal of MTL and this is, I guess you could say, one of the artistic hubs of the city. I like to come and just sit scoot, you know, uh, appreciate the artists, my fellow artists that are all around me. Um, you know, I may skate, but art comes in many shapes and forms. Um, so yeah, this is really my, one of my sanctuaries in, uh, in this great city. It really allows me to express myself creatively, you know? We should be, we're, we're like cars. It's, it's a way to move around the city. It's a way to, to transport yourself. Why shouldn't we get the same respect as cars do? We should have a parking spot. We should be able to leave our scooter somewhere safely and protected. And we need, we need people to be aware of that. I mean, look at this. I can barely fit in here. How am I supposed to lock this up? We could put it in the middle of the sidewalk. I mean, people don't need this much room to walk. All you really need is this. See, look, look at the girl walking. She's only taking up that much space. The rest could be left for scooters. I have a rally coming up in Toronto, and I'm the head organizer. If there's a scooter culture here, somewhere in Toronto, they've, they've got it going on. I'm scootering to Toronto, so that minimizes the travel cost. I guess there's a gonna be like a rally after party type thing that I'm thinking of spicing things up a bit. I'm making my own personal creation, which are called Scooter Bites. How cute is this? Have a little portion in there. I don't even need to explain this. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, you have to focus on the good that scooters bring, and, and the rest we will work on, and, and we'll, we'll bring up and we'll lift up. You know, as long as I know why I'm doing it and we do it for the right reasons, then you just have to smile. <laughs>